okay so hello guys this is expert panda and you're watching on youtube so let's understand today's question so today we have given uh, 133 clone uh, graph and uh, we have to clone the graph here okay so we have to give uh, we have given a reference of a uh, node e in a connected undirected graph right and we uh, also saying that we have to return a deep copy clone of the graph right and each node in the graph contains a int value and a list of node of uh, its neighbor like uh, if we will represent this node then it there will be a value and uh, there will be a list of node that is nothing but our neighbor as we know right so actually if we are taking any node right so there will be some value let's suppose there is 20 right and the list is means what there can be a list of node here can be node here can be node this node can also be have a list right so that's why this node contain one value and the list of node right you can say now coming back to the test format okay so for simply simply ct each node's value is the same as the node's index that is one index right so for example uh, the first node that we have val equal to equal to one and the second node value is very equal to two and so on so the graph represent the uh, represented in the test cases test case using adjacent list right okay so if each node value is the same as the uh, nodes index right so if we have value means uh, first node have value if the first node is coming here let's suppose this is root node so this will be if it is index is zero so it will be zero if it is coming a second uh, uh, node means this value is one if this is coming same second node then value will be remain then value will become what uh, uh, two second node like this will continue okay and we'll say this is we have given for the test cases right and the graph is represented in the test cases using adjacent list so we'll create an adjacent list so adjacent list is a collection of unordered list used to represent a finite graph so each list describes the set of neighbor of a node in the graph right you already think you already knows about uh, uh, you can say on uh, adjacent list right so uh, we have given a node that always be the first node right that is value equal to one and we will must return the copy of the given node as a reference of the clone node right now what we will understand here first of all see we have given this example okay and uh, uh, what is saying that we have to we are going to do the uh, deep cloning right of this node so if this node we have given right uh, sorry this graph we have your original graph is we have given right so if we will rep uh, if we will represent two as here one is as one like we have here one now if we'll take uh, two as two right we have four as four right and three as three right so is this you can't return the same graph right as you can see you cannot return the same graph okay why because see we are cloning this graph right one is one two is two three is three is like that right but if you see if it looks like a clone right means nodes are new right as you can see nodes are new one two three four right we have means look like a clone the nodes are new uh, uh, new right Lo looks uh, nodes are new and uh, graph looks the same right but similarly if we'll, the nodes were cloned but the graph isn't the graph is messed up means value is coming one is coming here three is coming here right two is coming here and four is coming means it's exchanging the value right means we are cloning the value but it doesn't uh, match right so then in that case we can say uh, we doesn't have the same connection and that's why it is returning false okay so how we will uh, understand that uh, this is coming uh, clone as a nodes are new or not right so see first of all let's suppose we have given this adjacent right so we have given what two is connected with four uh, one is connected with three two is connected with four and one is connected with three means as uh, let me clean better i will okay leave it so first two is connected with four right so is it two is connected with four see here two is connected with four 
how we can say 2 is connected with 4 right so the first node yeah it, it is saying that uh, in the adjacent list 2 is connected with 4 is it showing there if not right then what we will check uh, next, next we will check 1 and 3 2 and 4 1 and 3 like this we will check so the, there are four nodes in the graph actually the first node is what we have value equal to 1 second node is value equal to 2 third node is value equal to 3 fourth node is value equal to 4 right as we know the number and the index of the node are same right so if the adjacent are given right so the value equal to 1 so when the first node we are talking about its neighbor are what 2 and 4 what node 2 and node 4 correct let me clean it's become a little dirty okay what we are talking about it is saying that uh, let's talk about this uh, the parent node so first we have what we have given the first node we have given so it is saying that the first node means the value value of one is neighbors what we have we have node 2 and node 4 correct this is the neighbor for second node means this node to neighbor is what first node right and third node correct for the third node is this one and this one two and second node right and the fourth node what we have neighbor is one and three right like this we have given so these four are uh, four nodes are connected right and that's why we can say that it's uh, the if we'll create the same like uh, clone right same clone right it should be clone and the value and the positions both are both should become as the same right in that case we can say this is the clone graph i think you got it right now understand example two and example two we have given what one we have given only one node we have given and if there is only one node given right so it is empty you can say because no adjacent list we have given here no adjacent list is there so empty list we have means the input contains empty list we got we don't we, we how will create a adjacent list right and how will get the graph so graph consists of only one node with the value one and doesn't have any neighbors right and that's why we will return empty only so this is we can say also a clone now if we'll talk about uh, adjacent list we have empty empty graph empty it doesn't have any nodes we will return empty and this is the constant we have given number of nodes in the graph in the range 0 to 100 nodes that value is equal to less than equal to 100 right so these things you have to see all the nodes uh, for each node is unique and there is no repeated is and no self loop in the graph and graph is connected all all nodes can be visited starting from the given node okay now this question has been asked in you can say uh, thank all the top companies has asked these questions right so you can consider this as a uh, as a part of your preparation right when uh, when you're going for the interview this question will uh, help you a lot of uh, uh, confusion uh, right uh, also in understanding the graph because this is belongs to graph dfs bfs right you will do that so similar questions you can find after completing this question that is uh, copy list random pointer clone binary tree with the pointer and clone n array tree right so uh, this if you find uh, if you're able to find this question that's fine otherwise let me know i'll uh, put the link of this question right okay so uh, let's understand your uh, you can say approach solution how we'll do the implementation right so first of all we have solution uh, either we'll do the with the tfs or bfs so uh, what we have to see we can uh, see in this question actually that uh, uh, it has generated a lot of negative reviews right so it has more dislike than the likes right so we have tried uh, to improve this problem right a statement to make it more understandable right i have try to uh, give you the statement uh, so that in such a way you will understand however these are the kinds of situation where you might get into the with the interviewer when the problem statement might look like 
ab uh, absurd right and what is important then is to ask the interviewer to clarify the uh, problem right the sp a problem statement was confusing right and uh, we uh, we can say initially and that's why uh, uh, i decided to write a solution and uh, i thought uh, to clarify the most of the doubt right so you please ping me the comment box i'll uh, put the answer there okay so make sure if you have any doubt you will uh, ask the question so basic uh, basic intuition of uh, solving this problem is to just copy as we go right and we need to understand that what what are dealing with the graph and that means uh, a node could have any num any number of nodes so this is why the neighbors in the list what is also crucial to understand is that we don't want to get a stuck in a cycle and while we are traversing the graph right while we are traversing the graph according to the problem statement right we have given what any given undirected is could be represented as to directional edges right if you'll talk about so if there is a undirected is uh, between node a and node b the graph representation for it would be uh, you can say a directed is right from a to b and another b to a so after all the uh, you can say undirected graph is set of a nodes that are connected together where all the edges are bidirectional how how would you say that a could be reached from b and b could reach from a right if there will be direction so if there is undirected is right between a and b it means means what we can go a to b like this or b to a means we are under we have given undirected graph so an under that uh, so an undirected graph is a set of nodes that are connected together where all the edges are bidirectional how else would you say that a could be reached from b and b could be reached from a so to getting a stuck in the loop uh, we would uh, need some uh, way to track the nodes which have already been copied right so by doing this we don't end up traversing them again so we will use depth first search right and in which what we will do first we'll start traversing the graph from the given node right and when uh, when we will start traversing the graph from the given node we would like to take a hash map to store the reference of the copy of all the nodes that have already been visited and cloned right what we will do first starting we will do what uh, start with, uh, we will start traversing the graph right uh, that we have given the node right and after that what we will take we will take a hash map and we will store what reference copy of all the nodes that have already been visited and cloned so the key for the has map would be the node of the original graph right and the corresponding value right that will corresponding value will come in the value right has map key will be the uh, original node right of the graph and corresponding value will be the value so what will happen value would be the corresponding node uh, clone node of the uh, clone graph you can say okay means the key for the has map would be the node of the original graph and the corresponding value would be the corresponding clone node of the clone graph you got me means key will be key of the has map will be the node of the original original graph and value will be the uh, you can say uh, node of clone node of clone graph got it so the node already exists in the visited so we return corresponding uh, stored reference to the uh, clone node let's understand for example uh, we have given a is a, 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 a to b right since a is connected to b and b is also connected to a right so if we don't use visited 
we will get a stuck in a cycle right got it so without a has map without a has map we will go from a to b right so actually what i am saying let's suppose uh, for this one right we have given a to b okay because a is connected to b and b is also connected to a and if we don't use visited we will stuck in a cycle right so we should also take visited and we'll store that we have visited or not right so without using a has map we go from a to b since b is the neighbor of a so we go back again a uh, go back to a since a is the neighbor of what b so in the ever approach without a has map we end up getting a stuck since a want a wants a clone copy of its neighbor b similarly b goes back to a and get a clone copy of a so no one ill since the continue forever correct with a has map will what happen b will go to a to b since b is the neighbor of a right and uh, b in that case what will happen but before hopping to a on to b we create a clone of a node and will put into will put into the visited so this is a and this is b right so a is a node that has been cloned and will put into the visited now b b sees a as its neighbor but before hopping to a it will check a in the visited and it will be there right so in this approach a already create its clone before moving to its neighbor hence when we go to b b first look a in the visited and get a stuck right give us a get uh, back a to the clone this way it will it doesn't go back to a so we will prevent the cycle i think got it right now what we should do right if we don't uh, find the node right if we don't find the node in the visited let's suppose uh if we if there is a node let's suppose we have b right and we are going to find uh, uh, we are going to find a the neighbor right and if it is not there right in the visited has map then what we will do we will create a copy of it and put into the has map so now we have to note that how it is impossible uh, so how it is important to create a uh, create a copy of node and add to the has map so before entering recursion right we have to do clone node right this is the clone node sorry okay we will do clone node then we'll do what in slice a node value and this and we, we will mark visited node equal to node got it so if you don't find the node in the visited has map we create a copy of it and we'll put into the has map now it's important to create a copy of the node and add it to the has map before entering recursion now we'll do clone equal to new node value and visited of node equal to clone node so in the absence of such an ordering we would be caught to caught in the recursion because uh, we encounter on the node again in somewhere down the recursion again right so while we traversing it again thus we are getting the into the cycle understand see let's say this is the recursion and we have to start from a and goes to b this one second uh, it is saying then goes to c correct here then goes to d and go, then again it is going to a because this is a cycle okay so we'll do like this a cycle so without the use of visited has map the uh, has map that uh, traversal might take the same route again and again and again thus the moment you visit a node it would be stored in a visited so let's suppose we uh, start from here mark visited a let's say the recursion that we start from a and goes to b 
like this so we will when we will reach to the next mark we will mark it so before going to a again we find that no a already visited in the has map hence we have to break the cycle and it will break okay after that it's very simple now we'll make the recursive call for the neighbor of the node and we'll pay attention to how many recursion call we will make uh, for a given node right so for a given node in the number of recursive call would be equal to the number of its neighbor right the number of recursive call would be the now equal to the number of node never neighbors you can say so for each uh, recursive call that will make would return the clone of a neighbor and we will prepare the list of these clone return and will put into neighbors of the clone node which we had created earlier so this way we will uh, have clone the graph node and its neighbor right so what we will do uh, I will give you a little tip for you what we will do so recursion could get a bit uh, uh, you can say cum cumbersome to a grasp if you're trying to get into every call yourself try to see what's happening and why look at uh, every call when every call does the same thing with different input so you just worry about one such call and let's recursion do the rest right so what you should do of course always handle the uh, base case or we have to terminate the condition of the recursion otherwise how would it end right so let's go to the uh, uh, browser and we'll do the implementation given we have given uh, this node we have given right we have given node then neighbors we have given and these are the constructor we have given right so first of all what we should do i will in uh, in case little font okay and coming back to here i'll go a little up so we will do the coding here okay to coming back to here what we should do i'll start from doing here so first of all we have given node right this node so what we should do uh let me create one has map right so first of all let's see i'll create a private and say this is our has map and this has map will take what first it will take note uh, of the previous node and this is our clone node right value as a key value right we'll take now we'll take visited uh you can say node i'll take visited nodes and uh, that is new has map and then it will take what like this will do okay now coming back to here what we should do we have given this node so first we'll uh, to terminate this we'll check node equal equal to null in that case we will not do anything we will return node correct this is your base case now what we'll do we'll check if the node was already visited right and we uh, then what we will do we will return the clone from the visited uh, you can say dictionary right so to do that what we will do we'll make a condition if right we have visited node right so if this visited node contains what you can say contains key and we'll check this node if this is already visited if this is already visited we don't know do we don't do anything we'll just say visited dot get node right after this what we'll do we'll create a clone for the given node note that we don't have a clone never offer as of now you can say and so we'll return empty and we'll create an empty right so we'll create a clone for a given node right as we know uh, as i show, shown you earlier to do that we what we'll do we'll say node and we'll give the node clone node and this clone node will take what new node and uh, this will take what two things first node dot sorry node node dot i'll take node dot well i think yeah it should take and another is new array list like this it will take okay i think it will work so we have created a clone for the given node right this is a clone node now we'll take in the visited so say visited node dot put 
on the visited node first we'll pass the node and the clone node both will add right now what we should do see the first what we have done we have created a clone node of the given node because we don't have clone neighbor as of now so we are doing uh, just any slicing right after this uh, the key is the original node and value is the clone node that we already know right after that what we will do we will iterate through the through the neighbors to the uh, generate their clones right we will iterate through the neighbors to generate their clone and will prepare a list of clone neighbors to add to the clone nodes right how we'll do that first of all we'll take four we'll take node and uh, we have a neighbor right you can take n a b or u r neighbor i'm sorry n a b n a g h sorry n a g h b o u r neighbor if this is a neighbor we'll get from what node dot we'll do neighbors i don't think we have neighbor right it should be here right mm, we are in a slicing yeah we have neighbor right it should come here right so we have never here from here what we'll do we have uh, we have created a clone node so clone node dot will do uh, neighbors right this will have neighbors in the definition of the uh, class right we already have this one from here we'll take a clone one right clone clone one I think we should take clone graph yeah this class dot uh, not dot will pass neighbor let's pass the neighbor yeah I'm taking from here there right we are taking what we can pass node right here and we'll pass this one we can pass this also so we can take this one also okay now we have a clone graph right and uh, once we have this clone graph right we will do cloning here right we are doing here i think got it okay leave it now coming back to here what we should do we will uh, take a return a return and we'll do a clone node right let me leave remove this uh, space let me check again uh, first of all we have given uh, val given no neighbors we have given and these are the constructor we have given okay first of all we have to create a visited node then we'll take a we'll create a you can say clone graph right and this clone graph will take what first we'll check a uh, node right and we are doing the because we are will check in the visited we'll make clone built into visited then we'll take what uh, we'll update our uh, we'll do recursive call and then we will return clone i think this should work right and uh, let me try this is working let me submit yeah it's working so thank you guys for watching this video now what we should do we'll understand this uh, time complexity okay so time complexity see if there is a n is a number of node right let's suppose for tc okay right what we'll do if we have tc should be uh, what see first of all we should understand if n is number of nodes okay yeah we can say what is this right and uh, m is uh, number of ages right then time complexity is what we'll say o of m into n we can say no uh, no 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 sorry sorry m of uh, o of n plus uh, o of n actually leave it here plus like this o of m plus o of m actually and this will result into i'm sorry and this will result into o of n plus m why see we have given uh, n let's suppose as a number of vertices and m is the number of edges 
so we are traversing all the nodes and edges correct and uh, if you we'll talk about the space complexity sc what will happen it will become o of n all the node we have to store into into the visited map right and uh, in addition to that space would also be occupied by the recursive stack since we are adopting the recursive approach here and uh, the space occupied by the recursive call right stack we you already knows right yet we are calling the recursive call okay so recursive call will take o of h the height of the graph and uh, height of the graph means overall complexity is what o of n number of nodes right so thank you guys thank you for watching this video if you like this video please hit subscribe and uh, you can share on your lead, lead code okay thank you thank you guys thank you for uh, liking and watching this video thank you